A man and a woman, both young, both attractive, retire to a hotel room after midnight. Throw in the fact that the man is a famous musician, talented and wealthy beyond anyone's dreams, and what do you think is going to happen in that room? Now, Miss Wood admitted that she had a little bit of sex on the brain. She went up to Mr. Carmichael's room. She unbuttoned her blouse and showed a bit of cleavage. Well, what was he supposed to think? Well, exactly what you must be thinking, that she wanted it as much, if not more, than he did. Now, we all want to believe a woman when she says she said no. But how can we believe her after she lied intentionally in this courtroom under oath? She says she lied because she was scared. But the evidence shows that she lied because she wanted to take advantage of my client's wealth and fame and didn't want you to know about it. Miss Wood may have said no. Unfortunately, she said it a day too late, and that doesn't count. Yes, Julia Wood willingly joined Mr. C Square in his limo. And yes, she willingly went up to his hotel room. And yes, she even thought of having sex with him. But to give her the benefit of the doubt, Mr. Clarence C. Square Carmichael is rich, and to some people in this courtroom, he's attractive. And of course, he's world famous. But Julia Wood did not ask to be thrown down on the bed. She did not ask to have her legs pried open. She did not ask to be pinned down and forcibly penetrated. Julia Wood said no. And whatever expectation she had going up to that hotel suite, once she got there, she changed her mind, and that's her right. But in Mr. C Square's world, a woman's rights are of no consequence. Sex is an entitlement of his stardom. Julia Wood ain't a lady, she a bitch, an amusement. To be held prisoner and used until he decides that he's through with her. In our country, one of the fundamental rights is the right of any of us to say no. We do it in our religion. We do it in our politics and in our workplace. And in our world, when a woman says no and a man ignores her, that's rape in the first degree. 